Pat Walker here with Mission Winners. It is Sunday and once again time to dive into the ETFs and max list stocks. IBD 50, weekly on the left, daily on the right, and look at how it closed on the weekly right near the highs on a slight pickup in volume. Basing right here, it's showing that maybe, I'm not saying for sure, nobody knows the future, but this may be the start of a lift. We'll watch and see. Now here's the slight negative on the daily. It lifted up, but if you noticed, it's, as it's risen the last couple of days, it's doing it on decreasing volume. Volume's dropping off. Power's dropping off. Volume equal power, especially good power if price is lifting too. So just a slight negative there with the IBD 50. Let's move on here. By the way, this is sorted alphabetically, so nothing special there. Gold miners, just chomping around here on the daily. Doesn't look too bad on the weekly, okay? But again, this is, you know, oh, it goes up. Look at this. Oh, it goes up, fades, fades. It's just chopping around here. There's no real clean entry there. So be careful with the gold miners. Let's move on. And gold's kind of the similar situation. I mean, it's, this is loose, folks. This is wide and loose patterns, okay? Be cautious with that. It's not clean and simple, okay? Just pointing that out. Could it change? Sure, it could change. What will we look for here? And I'll take it a step further for you. On the weekly, it closed okay here. On this bar, it closed pretty strong near the highs on a slight volume pickup. We want to see this form some semblance of a base or pattern and lift off and go up with a volume pickup. Those are the constraints that must be met or you don't buy. You just wait, find better things to buy. There we go. Let's move on. IBB Biotechnology fell pretty hard here, okay? Found support, you know, or um, closed above that line. But you can see it's kind of choppy. Moral of the story is always be cautious with biotechnology. No super clean entry there right now. So just dare to the side of caution with it. Better fish to fry. IEO, oil and gas. You look at the weekly. Yeah, it's reversing back. Then you look at the daily. This is a great lesson too. Oh, look, Pat, it's going up. It's going up on steadily decreasing volume every day. It tells us the power is diminishing. At this point in time, just leave it alone. Nothing to do with it. There's better places to go. Software technology, picking up a little bit on the weekly, picking up a little bit of the daily, still below the falling 50-day, slightly decreasing volume. We'll have to watch it and see. There is some, some improvement with it, but is it powerful like it was back here? Look at that nice run. And the answer is no. No, it's not. So let's move on here. Madison, by the way, for everybody, you can always look up here in the upper left-hand corner on the chart and it will give you the ticker symbol, but also what this security is, okay? Just, just to help you. So this is a Madison ETF. Chopping around here, I can, you can see it, look at back and forth and back and forth, but it is basing here a little bit, okay? What could be a potential aggressive entry? Why do I say aggressive? Look at the selling on this bar here. Look at the selling on this bar here. Look at it going up on decreasing volume. Not a lot of power. What could it do? I'm not saying this will be a great setup or a high probability setup. If it could take out these tops across here with volume. But please know that's serious selling here on the weekly, folks. And gap down here too, okay? Be cautious. I mean, look at that. A gap down on a pickup in volume. Be, just be cautious, a little bit cautious with medicine, okay, and the ETF. Let's continue onwards. Aerospace and defense is picking up a little bit. There's another one that fell hard. It's rallying back up, slight pickup in volume. Is And it looks good on the weekly. Is there a really clean entry right here? No, there's not. I'm not saying it's bad to buy, but I'm saying there's no real safe entry here. When I mean safe, it's a high probability entry that everybody can see which increases the odds that they'll buy also. It's choppier here. So it's riskier. Just be careful with that. I'm not saying it's not going to work. I'm saying it's not a clean and simple base breakout. Best money's made, folks. I've looked at millions of charts through the years. Best money is made through clean and simple base entries. And it doesn't need to be the cup and the handle. If you wait for the cup and the handle, you'll starve to death. Okay. Oh, yes. And I used to say that at the IBD meetups too. It's just a fact. You got to have a couple of other patterns that work. There's nothing wrong with the cup and the handle. It's great. It just doesn't happen enough. 
So let's move on. Here we go. U.S. home construction was really strong through here, and we own some home building stocks, let me tell you, and they made good moves. Pulling back here, it's a little choppy. No clean entry at this time. Just leave it alone. S&P 500 growth, IVW, and you can see, you know, nice reversal on the weekly on an increase in volume. Pretty choppy here, though. We need to see some more power. One thing I do like, though, is it gapped down and it closed near the highs on the weekly on a pickup in volume. That's a big plus. Something to watch going forward as far as improvement is concerned. Folks, I will tell you this. This will really help you. It's good when growth stocks and growth indexes are moving up. That's where real good money with less risk and less hassle is made. Let's continue onwards here. IWM, see how that's lagging? You can see, well, that's a pretty good weekly bounce here. Yeah, it needs to get back above the 50-day. Notice it gapped down here and it gapped down here. That's selling, folks. When you get a gap down like this, that's institutions saying, I want out. Get me out. I don't care, get me out. And they sell, and that leads to the gap down. So it's basing right here. It needs to show some power getting back above the 50-day. And when I say power, I mean good price action and good volume action. But I will also tell you, you won't see this chart set up in any book saying, this is a high probability setup to buy. Okay, so if you do buy it, just go smaller. That'll help you. Good investing is not one size fits all. That will help you. Mission winners, we teach all these things. We do all these things. IYR, IYR, real estate's hanging in there. We did good with the home builders. Whoa, see that base downward and lift? That was great. Basing right here needs to move across these tops. But please note, and again, I'm not being negative. I'm just a realist. Kind of whippy through here. There's travel range in these bars. You know, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, back and forth. Needs to push across these tops here. And I'll draw it for you to help you. Push across these tops, and it needs to do it with volume. Also note, when we study price and volume, the team know this, and this is for everybody. I don't want to just give ideas. I want to explain why. Understanding the why is power for you. Because you know that concept, you can apply it to other stocks. That's what we're after at Mission Winners. Helping people reach these good investing decisions to make money and times to be safe, things not to do. Fell on fairly heavy volume here and rallied back up on decreasing volume. So we need to see power and power is measured by price backed by volume. Continue on transports. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. It's just choppy. I know it's bouncing back, but it's loose. There's better fish to fry. Just leave it alone. Airlines are grounded. Leave them alone. There's nothing to do with it. I'm sorry I had to say that, okay? My kids would shake their head. My grandkids would shake their head. Nothing to do with it there. Just leave it alone. Insurance is chopping around here a little bit. There's a small base right here, okay? But there was serious selling on this. I need to pause here again. I'm not bearish. I'm not negative. I'm just pointing out this is what it is. This was like saying, oh, it's raining outside. Oh, you're negative. No, I'm just saying it's raining. That's all right. Oh, it's, it's sunny. Oh, you're always positive. No, I'm just saying it's sunny, okay? Same situations apply. Same analysis, same thought processes applies in analyzing the charts. Just basing here, it needs to lift across these tops and it needs to do it with volume to offset the selling volume. Let's, by the way, you see that selling on this bar right here? That gap down and it sells, that's institutions saying, I want out. I, I want out. Just get me out. Okay. And they sold it. So maybe it's going to base here and get an entry. But for right now, no clean entry. Leave it alone. Let's move on. Mid caps lagging. You can see the weekly, it's come back, but it's, it's choppy here. We need to get it back above the 50 day, folks. Here we go. Home builders. Boy, did we have a run on the home builders. Whoa, it was great through here. This was, this was good. Now it's chopping around. No real power at this time. Just be a little cautious with it. OIH, oil services, there's nothing there. It's, it's going down on increasing volume. It gapped down. It gapped down here. It gapped down here. Gaps like this, price gaps to the downside, that's institutions. That's entities saying, I want out. I don't care. Just get me out. And that leads to the gap down. So is there anything to do with it now? No. Just leave it alone. That's it. 
Pharmaceuticals picking up a little bit right here. Eli Lilly was a chunk of this move right here, back up, okay? Something to watch. Note, though, it's it, there's, there's travel bars here. They're wide and loose. Be careful with that. We need to see it settle down a little bit. However, that's the daily. On the weekly, it doesn't look too bad. This is why we look at both. So we could say on the weekly, if it takes out the highs of last week's bar, could be a potential buy. There you go. Or stocks in the group. And oh, here's what you can, you can say. Well, Pat, I'm going to go back to this for you to help you. Oh, well, how can I find out? Just Google PPH, top 10 holdings, PPH. It's all you need to do. And it'll give you the top 10 holdings. That's where you want to go, the leaders in the group. Okay, and that will help you. QLD's chopping around here a little bit. Coming back a bit here on the weekly. All right, as you can see, but a little choppy here. A lot of overhead supply. Look at that. Lots of overhead supply. Needs to chew through that. So something to watch. Is there a really clean entry on it now? No. QQQ. Same situation as QLD, chopping around. I do like how it did reverse on the weekly. And by the way, I already have an alert set right there. You see that? I already have it set. If it takes out the highs of this bar, I'll drop it just a hair to be ready. Leave it there. And I need to share this with you. This is a great investing tactic I've used forever. Don't set your price alert. This is not a stop. It's just alert. Don't set your price alert at the high of the bar. Set it a little early so that when it hits it, you have time to look at the price and volume action to make a better investing decision. You don't have to rush. Right there, folks, that is a million dollar suggestion for you. There you go. Plan ahead. Let's move on. Retailing, there's nothing there. I guess you call that a fire sale. Nothing to do with the retailers. Leave them alone. Silver, there's no power in silver. It's tarnished. Leave it alone. Steel is rusting. Okay, I'll stop. But you can see there's nothing good there, really. Leave it alone at this point in time. SMH lagging. Did bounce back here, as you can see on the weekly, okay? Near the highs. Needs to take out the tops here, but it needs to do it, folks, with good price action and volume. But no, it is below a falling 50-day. It is not as highly reliable. Be aware of that. I'm not saying it's not going to work. I'm just saying it's a little riskier. So you can say, well, Pat, I really want to do it if it triggers. How can I minim minimize risk? I'll say it again. Well, Mission winners, we teach this. Good investing is not one size fits all. On great patterns, you go bigger. On, on less reliable patterns, riskier patterns, you go a little smaller. It will help you, help you lessen risk. Continue onwards. Spiders picking up a little bit. Decent pickup here on the weekly, as you can see. Okay. Closed up just a hair, okay? I mean, the close on this bar, folks, is 532.90. The high on this bar is 532.99, nine cents. Nine cents versus the previous close, okay? And it rallied up and it did it on decreasing volume here. Also note, you see that bar? They sold it hard. So what does all this say? Just be a little cautious. You know, we're not, it's not an all green, you know, all clear signal. Let's go hog wild. Let's go on margin. No, it's just be a little cautious. It will help you. It will help you. Remember this. And I said this for years at the meetups. I'm saying it again. Just because the market's open for business doesn't mean we have to do business. Look for the high probability setups in good markets. Do those. Do those. And the money comes. The money comes. Let's move on. Here we go. SSO, same things as spiders, picking up a little bit, as you can see. Solar's lagging, nothing to do with it. Just leave it alone. Look at the weekly. There's nothing to do with it. Leave it alone. TNA, lagging. There's nothing really to do with it. Okay. I mean, you got these price gaps in here. Just be cautious with the small caps. That's what it's telling us. USO is lagging. Not a lot of power there. Some on the weekly, but you look, you're not going to see this set up in any chart book saying, this is what you want to look for. So just be a little cautious with energy. Biotechnologies bouncing a little bit. Needs to get a good strong lift here off the 50 day on XBI. Just for what it's worth. Home builders, not a lot of power there. Be cautious. Materials lagging. How do you build homes? How do you build homes? You need materials. See how you connect the dots? And mission winners, that's what we do. 
nothing there. Just leave it alone. By the way, you all are priority. If you'd like me to slow down a bit, just message us and tell us. It's fine. Hey, could you go, could you go faster? Could you go slower? It's important. Not that the message is sent, but that the message is received on your behalf. And I mean that sincerely. XLC, till this gets up there, there's nothing to do with it. What is it telling us? It's communications. Be cautious with communications. It's awfully loose here. Okay. Let it settle down. Energy's lagging, as we've discussed with other ETFs. Financials are picking up a little bit, but overall, not a lot of power. Be cautious. Industrials, not a lot of power. Be cautious. Technology's lagging. I mean, you can see it came back on the weekly on a pickup in volume. It needs to push through these tops here, and I'll help you. Right there. It needs to push through there, and it needs to push through with volume, okay, on the daily. We need volume on that daily, too. It's rallied up on decreasing volume, so watch it. Also note, it's below the 50-day, so just below the slightly falling 50-day, so it just tells you to be a little cautious. Consumer staples, this is kind of a defensive group. Consumer staples, right? Hey, the economy can be bad or the market can be bad, but guess what? We all need toothpaste, okay? And it's just basing right here. Loose patterns, though, right? You can see this. Back and forth, back and forth. Hold on one second. My apologies. That was a engineering phone call I had to take. So here we go. XLP is just consumer staples, the name of it, just basing right here. As you can see, looking at the chart, it doesn't look bad on the weekly, but it's loose. I mean, when you see price bars like this, you know, oh, it goes up, it goes down. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it goes up. Oh, you know, back and forth. And notice even on this bar, it gaps up and closes near the lows. Why whipping action here? It's just, it's indicative of investor sentiment. There's not a lot of conviction to stay with it. Oh, it's going up. It's great. Oh, God, they're taking it down. I'm selling. Back and forth. High investor emotions are shown, represented in chart action, the price action. There you go. It's a little loose here. Didn't close bad. It needs to come across these tops on consumer staples and take out that top right there. Let's move on. We're about done. Utilities are hanging in here, okay? Kind of a defensive sector. Just basing right here. Maybe it'll start to lift up. Doesn't look too bad, okay? And it's also interest rate sensitive. In, uh, healthcare sector, chopping around here, folks. I mean, doesn't look bad on the weekly on a volume pickup. Needs to take out the tops of these bars up here. Whipping around, though. I mean, you look at the weekly and say, oh, okay. They were selling volume here. And there was selling volume here. So chopping around, it's not a clean and simple base pattern. So just be a little cautious with it. Consumer discretionary, look at this. That's no good at this point in time with consumer stocks. So be careful with that. Metals and mining is lagging also. Be cautious with that. Oil and gas, not a lot of power there at this point in time. Retailing, chopping around. I mean, on the weeklies, they look good, but they need to tighten up on the daily and provide a simple entry for us. Okay. Software, good close on the weekly, but man, they knocked the tar out of it. But here's the plus here. You can see it on the weekly and you can see it on the daily that it gapped down but closed near the highs. It gapped down but closed near the highs. Rallied up. This isn't the best bar, but the volume wasn't really heavy. Then it lifted up again and closed near the highs. It's telling us that software is improving a little bit. Perhaps if it takes out, and I'll draw the line to help you. Take out these tops with volume, that would be a potential entry. But it's not clean and simple. It's not a base breakout. And it's below the falling 50 day. Be cautious with that. Okay, so that was the ETFs. Now we dive into the max list stocks. But first, let me ask you have you hit that subscribe button yet? We noticed that only about 40% of the viewers on our weekly videos are subscribed. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please hit the subscribe button. It is 100% free and it helps us get more great videos to you. Oh yeah, the like button. Also, please do hit that. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Now let's get into the max list stocks. Let's move on. There's Apple. Look at that big tail bar on Apple on the weekly and on the daily. And it picked up here. And also note, you can say, so that's a red bar. Look at how it closed, folks. 
it closed right near the highs on the weekly and the daily on a pickup in volume on the weekly. This could be a turn. It's something to bear watching. Apple. By the way, when I say that, I am not saying it's going to continue going up. I am just saying that, and this is our edge, through looking at millions of charts through many years, you develop a good sense of what's happening, and it helps make better decision making. And mission, mission winners, we do that, and we teach that. Amazon, close near the highs on the weekly, and you can see this little base right here on the daily. Now it's below the 50 day, that is a negative. So what do we wanna see? We wanna see a good market and we wanna see the stock push through these highs. I already have the price alert set. See that? Push through these highs on a pickup in volume. And notice this bar here on the daily, it closed near the highs right here on that daily chart. Basing right here and the weekly looks decent, perhaps it'll lift off. Now, I have to put a caveat on here again. It's below the falling 50-day. Stocks below the 50-day are less reliable. Just know that. So you can say, well, if it triggers, then Pat, and this is what we teach in Mission Winners, the real world. Okay, so Pat, it's got a couple of strikes against it. If it triggers, should we buy? And this is what I tell people. You can buy if the price action and volume is good, but because it's not a high-quality setup, go smaller. Adjust risk size, folks. Go bigger on great setups. Buy more shares on big on great setups. Buy less shares on setups that are not reliable, as reliable. That will help you. Let's continue on. But Amazon doesn't look too bad. There's Alibaba just basing right here. Max list stock. You can see this base perhaps taking out these tops on the weekly, which coincides pretty closely to the daily chart. What will we need to see? Some volume. But it is basing, and it is above the 50-day. That's good to see. Let's move on. Baidu, do a compare and contrast. These are like sister stocks. Well, that one's kind of basing and going sideways right here, Pat, on the weekly and the daily. Oh, okay, that's something to maybe look into. Here's the, I'll call it the sister stock. Baidu, uh, no, this isn't as good. Look, basing, going sideways, still kind of falling. So which one's better? Which one's a better candidate? Baba, I'm not saying buy it, but at this point in time, focus more on Baba, on Alibaba, then Baidu, that will help you. This stuff we teach, stuff we do. There's Google, it's still lagging. Nice weekly bounce back here, okay? Close near the highs. Gap down and close near the highs. That's a plus to see. However, you can see, you know, the market lifted up and this, this is still lagging pretty bad. Be careful with that. Also note, it fell on fairly heavy volume here on a gap down and it lifted up on substantially less volume than it fell on. So now what does that tell us? A, there's not a lot of power. B, then what do we do if it triggers? What will we demand? Good price action and good volume. And if it's not there, we don't buy. And I will say this again, it's below the falling 50 day. That's riskier. How do we lessen risk? Buy less shares if it triggers. And that will help you. Good investing, as I've stated, is not one size fits all. Let's continue onward. On these videos, by the way, I don't want to just give ideas. I want to educate. Let's move on. Meta. I like how Meta's basing in here. There was a little level right here that it pushed through. There's a tail bar here on the daily, but you can see it has fallen in reverse. And I do like how the weekly has a pretty good close. So we'll watch this going forwards, looking for another entry on it. Pick some up going across this top right here, by the way. I'll draw this to help you. Just so you know what I'm talking about. Right across there. Here's the hourly chart again. And you can see, see the volume on that bar? And so we'll see what it does. Let's move on. There's Meta. Again, picking up a little bit. Across these tops. We'll watch and see. Is there a spot to buy it right now? No. No, it's in no man's land as far as a, a, a first entry. So just laying that out. Microsoft, really lagging, okay? Not a lot of power here. Looks good on the weekly coming back here, but you can see it's, there's, there's some selling in here. I'd be really careful with that. It's not in a leadership position, so be a little cautious with that. Goldman Sachs is picking up a little bit here. Maybe something right in here could be a potential, all right? 
What does it need? Good price and good volume. Let's continue onward. MasterCard, picking up a little bit right through here. Slight volume pickup, as you can see. Not a super clean pattern here. In fact, team, many of these stocks, they're not really clean and simple patterns. And it just tells us to err to the side of caution. And that helps us. Let's move on. Netflix is still lagging too. Picking up a little bit here. Have you noticed the phrase I keep saying over and over? And I'm not doing it to be obnoxious. It's picking up a little bit. It's not like, wow, this is great. Like back here, folks, this was, this was good here. And this was good here. That's what we're looking for. That's where more money is made, higher probability setups with far less risk. Just something to take into consideration. There's the Netflix chart again on the weekly. And there's the base. This base here coincides with this base there. Isn't that great? There we go. Let's move on. NVIDIA is still lagging here. As you can see, there's still not a lot of power on the daily. Some power on the weekly. Refresh this and see if we can get that other bar going in there. Still right here. We need more power. Okay, we need to see more power. We need to see this lift off here. Until it does, just be cautious. Now, here's a great lesson for everybody. Just because it's a green bar doesn't mean it's a good bar. Just because it's a red bar doesn't mean it's a bad bar. Right here is a bad bar. But then look at this bar. It's a red bar, but look at how it closed. This is a great lesson we teach in Mission Winners. Note the open, the high, the low, and the close. It opened here. And look at where it closed in the top third of its range. So they bought it. There's no clean entry at this point in time, but I'm just pointing that out. Let's move on here. NVDL, the leveraged one, same situation. Tesla, I like this little base on Tesla right here, going across these tops. By the way, I already have a price alert set. What do I want to see? Push through. And by the way, it's just a little bit below the rising 50 day. And I like that. Little shelf right here. Also note this bar. Look at how it closed on that bar in the top third of its range on a slight volume pickup. Doesn't look bad here on the daily and on the weekly also near the highs. What do we need to see? Take out these tops. And I'll draw this to help you. Mission winners, we teach these things all day, every day. Take out those tops right across here with volume. That's what we're looking for. And a good market. Visa, there's nothing there. I mean, here, check that out. Well, it's kind of going sideways. I see what you're looking at, Pat. Visa, there's nothing there. Just leave it alone. Done. All right, team. That's our weekly review. Hope it helps you get a clearer picture of where the market's headed and what stocks to keep an eye on. By the way, don't forget about our weekly top stocks to have on your watch list video coming out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you're curious about what we covered last week, you can find the link to that video in the top right corner. Remember, these watch list videos are just a small taste of what our VIP members get with the daily key list videos on missionwinners.com. So if you're serious about finding those super performance stocks, consider joining us. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. What are your thoughts on today's market review? Do you have any questions or concerns? Feel free to drop a comment below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And remember, stay sharp, keep learning, and keep finding those winners.